Okay, so today for review, we have a J-Fit under desk or stand up mini elliptical. And we're going to, and this is the assemble chart. We're gonna, I'm gonna try my best to do, show you how to put it together and hopefully you can understand. Okay, so the, um, the manual is very easy to understand. It gives you the important safety information. It tells you what to expect. So here's step by step, it tells you what comes with it. How to assemble it and what it looks like before and after. Exercise instructions, which is really nice. Key functions. You have your auto on and off. Reset mode, functions, time, speed, distance. So it's got a lot of stuff. And I'll even tell you what kind of, see the exercises you can do. Or you well, actually stretch first and it'll tell you your target zone. Your maxima cool down target zone for your age and everything. So that's pretty cool. Your calories scan, battery, dual purpose handle. All this right here. And that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get it together. Here's what the bottom, I turned it over. This is the bottom looks like. So you have these tools that come with it. Here's the pedals. Here's all the tools and the washers and the nuts and bolts and all that good stuff. And these right here. And this is the tool that's going to go into here. Wait, that's this bigger one. So this one will go into here. Now, as you can see, this plate on the bottom, you're going to have to take it off. Because right now, it's turned the other, the other way. So you want to take that off. And you want to face it out, so the rounded area is going to face out. So we're going to do that now, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so we've got this part on the front, and now we're going to do the backs. So according to this right here, this needs to go out. So we're going to do that now. These screws are, are loose, so you want to go ahead and take those off. And as you can see with the instructions, you have the nut and bolt, the little washer, and everything goes right through. So we're going to do that now. Stand by. Okay, so that was really simple. All I did was take it out, raise it up, and turn it around. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these back on. And you want to use the tool that they gave you, which is this tool right here. Remember the old lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So use that tool to tighten them up because you don't want to strip it and you want to get them pretty good and tight. And then the, again they have the washer and it goes like that and then put that on. Okay so now we're going to assemble this piece onto here and that is right here and it has the nut and bolts already on one side. This is the other half. And we're going to go right onto here. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back and show you. Now this fits in between the two outer pieces. The screw goes in here, then you have this piece, and then you have the washer and then the little bolt thing on top. So you want to get those tightened up and you also have your tools to do that with. One fits right inside there and then you'll need this tool which is the larger end of it for the other side. Okay, my bad. Actually, you need this tool. <laughs> so you'll, you'll hold it with the bigger end. You'll hold that, and then you'll twist this here piece to get it tightened up. Okay, so now that we got this piece on, this piece on we're going to go on to the next part, which will be the pedals. And they'll go on each side. Okay, I do want to tell you that there are three holes in the pedal bracket. You can adjust the pedals to three different heights. It looks like those are the ones right there. And when doing the, um, the pedals, you want to make sure you have the wider end on the inside and the this, this flatter, shorter end on the outside. So they'll go on like this. Now let's go ahead and get them on. One more thing, these screws come already on here, so all you have to do is just take them right out. Okay, so I've got one of these already in, 
and <laughs> you make sure you um there's really no way to uh, put them on wrong i thought i did it first but if you try to put this one on this side it won't work or that one on this side because this there's a part this part right here won't fit up up this way anyway so you should be so it so you won't have any issues of putting this on wrong there's there's no way to do that so you're good just put them on there and it'll fit right in there and just put the screws in okay so we got both of the um pedals on and on the right side you have the okay so you have these knobs and like i said earlier you have three levels here now the only one you want to do flat is the stand up so this has to go on the bottom one, the flat one. For sit down mode, you have two levels. So right there, right there, and then the stand up, oops, sorry, right there. And then right here in the middle, and then all the way down, that's the flat stand up. So I'm gonna do the stand up, so I'm gonna put this in, and it's gonna go all the way through over here. And then you wanna just tighten that up. Tighten it up pretty good, and then just put it down, and it'll be flat. Everything's on good and tight. And this is a handle, by the way. You have a couple handles there, one there, and then you have a handle right here for easy. It's very portable. It only weighs about 24 pounds. That's really good. So I've already gotten this knob already in, and we're good to go on that. And once this is pressed, it'll go on right away. The system's going to turn off automatically when the sensor has no signal input or no key or is pressed or for about approximately four minutes. So if you're not using it, at about four minutes it's going to go off. And it can easily be reset by pressing the mode key for three seconds. And that resets it. Okay, so you have calories and you have distance and timer. So when you, in the mode to choose a scan or lock, if you do not want the scan mode, press the mode key when the pointer on the function you want, which begins blinking. Functions, time, speed, and distance. For time, press the, the mode key until the pointer advanced to time, which it kind of, it keeps going back and forth. So right now you have it on calorie, then it goes timer. Speed, distance, and calories. You can see that. Okay, so I press the calorie, and that so it'll it'll uh, go ahead and calculate my calories. Scan timer. You can put on the speed. Reset. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get on this and show you how it works. I'm going to show you how to use this. And um, for me, I had a little bit hard time getting started. So you want to kind of go back a little bit and then go forward to get going. But relatively, it's pretty easy to do. Now, you want to put it on a flat surface or if you're on a carpet, put a protective cover underneath. Now, my floor is a wood tile, so it's beveled. And it's not going to be flat, so I put this piece of um, carpet down, a rug down, so I can uh, it'll be more level. But this is a stand-up mode. It's pretty simple. I've already got under. Let's see. The speeds go. I can see the the mode right now for the speed and the calories. I'm gonna go ahead and. Pause it for a second here. Okay, so it's, it goes starts out with timer. I've already reset it. I had to reset it because I was doing it earlier. And it'll tell you, it'll, it'll, it'll go through each mode so you can see how many calories, the distance, how long you've gone, and so forth. And you just keep going. I mean, it's, it's really simple to do. I think it's pretty good. I've been using it all day today. Now with Regular diet and exercise, you will lose weight. So 
Whew, I'm already out of breath. When using this, you won't lose weight just by doing this. You're going to have to change your diet. That'll help too. So there you go, folks. This is the JFID under your desk or stand up elliptical. Thanks for listening. Okay, here's an overview of what it looks like. Plus, I'll have pictures as well. But in case my pictures are not approved, I'm going to show you everything, what it looks like up close. From the other side. It appears to be really well made. I haven't had any issues except, of course, being unlevel on my beveled floor. There you go, folks. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps.